So it is just as sweet as it looked last night. Beautiful. So pretty, highly recommend. Really enjoyed myself here last night. And I camped back behind those trees. This is a nice little loop trail that goes around the lake. I, mean, it's, I think it's like 0.8 or something. And my guess is those people camped behind those trees last night, but there were plenty of sites. Plenty of room. Very quiet and peaceful. Just what the doctor ordered. Here's the view from 30.9. I think that's Mud Lake. Um, it's not on Gut Hook, and so um, yeah, I'll see if I look it up later. <laughs> Any nice breeze this morning. Oh, just beautiful blue sky. There's some clouds up there. Should make for a nice sunset if they stick around. Here's some more of the lake. Everything is so beautiful in its own unique way. Like some people might say, oh, that's not a pretty lake, but it's just, it's so striking to me. It's just different from all the other lakes I've seen. And that's why it's beautiful to me. So here's a um, mile marker 31 and a half. I just thought these rocks were really neat looking. So, and if you are looking for expansive views of the lovely Lady Lake Tahoe, this is the section of trail for you. From Brockway to Rose, I mean, I was told, but I mean, just stunning. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and the smoke is gone. Just a little bit of haze, but that's that's typical for this area. You can see the other side. You can see detail on the other side. Beautiful. I have no idea what this lake is called, but it's super cute. weird all the blooms on this are facing down I don't know they're very soft I know don't touch it um, so and it's not just that one all of its brothers and sisters are doing the same thing so I don't know if it's just because they're growing on the hillside I don't know they're cute though so I just realized I was looking at that pretty little lake down there and I just realized that's the meadow, that's um, Mount Rose Highway and that's the meadow where I started. It's like boom, already done. What happened? Beautiful. The views on this section are just to die for. So beautiful. I have no idea what that lake is over there. Here's mile marker 33.3. .3. Gorgeous. So you can see lake here, lake here. And if you go over here, as I try not to fall down the hillside, I believe that's Relay Peak. And then if you come up a little bit, 
Well, I'm carefully trying not to fall down the hillside. Look at that. Gorgeous. Can you still see lake? Boy, the views just nonstop. Just a tenth of a mile further, and this is what you see. It's so funny to me, this um, spot on Gut Hook is called View of Cell Phone Tower, <laughs> which is right there. But um, wow, of all the things to. point out. I don't, I don't know. I just don't think that that um, makes the top of my list. Gorgeous. I'll show you what's down below. Long, long way down. Very dry. Those perfect clouds. Gorgeous. So here I am at um, 10,240 something. I don't know. Um, feeling a lot better. I ate something. I um, had some. Beef sticks, twisted snack sticks. All right, like five of those. Um, and then I had some a North Side that I put um, together this morning, and I'm a cold soaker, so um, I thought it would be done by now. It's not quite done, um, and frankly. I don't know if I just really just don't like the north sides. I'm not sure. Um, the couscous I had yesterday was way better. Um, I think that was Far East brand or something. Um, anywho, so I guess it's personal preference. We'll see if I actually ended up eating it or packing it out. Um, yeah, I don't know if I buy a whole lot of those again. Um, so anywho, here's the view my little lunch break. Um, I'm already past what I had said this morning I was going to hike because Good Oaks is a dirty liar. Um, no, it's really not. It's just that when you're off on a spur trail, you it will not tell you mileage to your next de destination. And so, I mean, it does, but I think what happened was is it told me as the, you know, as the crow flies, so that does me no good. Um, so anyways, I've gone over um, three miles now, which is what I thought was going to be my goal for the day, but um, I am not at the falls. <laughs> so um, so uh, yeah, and so I have a little backup plan for the falls too. Some people that I met on trail the Tahoe Trampers, um, I'm not sure that they mentioned their personal names, but um, they said they're part of that group, and um, I'm actually, that's why I'm out here at lunch. I was going to go to the next little um, lookout spot for to have something to eat, but I needed to eat. The elevation was getting to me. I was getting dizzy, and um, yeah, the pressure in my head, all that. My stomach feels fine, though, so... Um, anyways, so I saw that on Gut Hook there was like a little spur trail named for them, the Tahoe Tramper Spur Trail. So I was like, well, let me check it out. So they were neat people. Um, I enjoyed speaking with them. Um, very interesting. They um, kind of let me know what's going on with the area a little bit. Um, uh, I guess they've installed cameras on the trail. Um, because they're counting heads and I'm sure making sure 
knuckleheads are dealt with. Um, so anyways, I guess they're like not anywhere you would see them. And, um, you know, they're just kind of doing population counts and all that because I guess they said the trail usage in the last couple of years has just exploded. Because I had commented, I seeing a lot more people on trail than I expected. Um, so, anywho, it was interesting talking to them um, and they prompted me to do this little spur trail and well worth it, very pretty. Uh, nice place to have a snack. Um, and it's got a view over there too. I just always assume everybody wants to look at Lake Tahoe if you don't, you know, never seen it or look at the clouds, it's gorgeous, huh? So and there's Washoe over there. So I still have some more up to do, <laughs> unfortunately, um, and then a whole lot of down. So um, I might even be taking um, the down slower than I was taking the up um, just because my feet, but um, I've been giving them a little rest and um, hopefully they'll serve me well in the last few miles. So readjustment. Um, Galena is still a couple of miles out, um, so my plan still is to camp there, but the trampers told me that, you know, it's just very busy and sometimes it gets a little nuts. I think it's only Thursday, so it shouldn't be too crazy. So I'm just going to see what it looks like. I even asked them, I was like, even the top of the falls? And they're like, yeah. So they um, recommended uh, Frog Pond if there's too many people for me. So that's gonna be my backup plan for camping tonight if um, Galena Falls is just a little too raucous for me. So anywho, I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer and um, yeah, just savor. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think I've got about 100 or so more feet until I actually hit my peak for the day. Um, so when I do that, I'm sure I'll check in and show you, show you what that looks like. So this is what six miles from completion looks like. My end is right over there. Crazy. So there's Washa Lake. Start of the show. The lovely lady we call Lake Tahoe. And if you look down there, see that thing right there? I was at the base of that, actually lower than the base of that last night camped. Crazy. 70 miles. Whoosh. So there's Tahoe. We just came down from the peak. Um, 10 3 was my high point today. High point for the trail, for the Tahoe Rim Trail. Um, look at this, though. I mean, just stunning.